Welcome to Knife Chats. If you like what you see, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, share it with friends, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Thank you. So the uh, question raised its ugly head again. Why don't you like the Trapper? And I really haven't said I don't like the Trapper. I mean, it's a fine knife, and I can see why so many people use it. It's just not the knife for me. There's a difference between saying it's a bad knife and saying it's not a knife for me. Uh, but since people have asked me multiple times, I'm going to try and answer this once and for all. The Trapper is a wonderful knife. It is an absolutely wonderful knife, especially if you plan on selling commemorative knives one after another. And that's where they really come to shine because they have these two really big blades and you can do all sorts of etching on them. Two blades for the price of one for all that etching. And then you also have the handle four and an eighth inches long and you can do all sorts of wonderful things to do a great commemorative knife with a trapper. And that's what trappers do best. They're excellent at being a commemorative knife. And that, my friends, is why Case sells so many trappers. Because they're turning out a commemorative or some kind of promotional knife one after another. And they're always doing it on the trapper frame. They ignore every other knife out there almost. to just pump out more trappers because they are set out to churn out trappers and that's what case does best they sell out trappers like you wouldn't believe and now every other company that makes trappers any other company that makes traditional knives decide to follow cases pattern and turn out commemorative knives on a trapper frame do they use a stockman no do they use barlow's no well, sometimes, but not very often. Mostly it's trapper after trapper after trapper. And so I get tired of everything coming out on a trapper frame. And Case would also have you believe that the trapper is the knife that won the West. And that really just irks the crap out of me because the trapper was not even around until around the 1930s when Case took its pen blade that used to be back here and they replaced it with a spade blade and they came out with the trapper and they said this is the knife that won the west the knife wasn't even around in the west it's only been around since the uh, 1930s so what it's been around for about 90 years but the knives that actually won the west more like the stockman and the toothpick Heck, even the camp knives were around back when the West was being settled, but the trapper was not. But what it did, what Case did, is they took the blades that you would find on a moose, yes, the moose, and they took the spay blade and they moved it to the other end so it opened up the same way that the clip blade did. That's what they did. Now the moose wasn't called a moose back then. The moose was the knife that Nesmuk used. Nesmuk was an actual trapper. The other knife that trappers used later was the muskrat. Moose, spade blade, clip blade. Muskrat, two clip blades, one on either end. These were the knives that actual trappers were using they weren't using the knife that case called the trapper so that's the other problem I have with it that it's taking credit for jobs that real trapper knives actually used to do now I'm not saying this knife won't work for a trapper because I know plenty of people who do trapping and they swear by the uh, the trapper it's a fine knife it's a great knife I have no real problems with the knife if it's a knife that you're going to be using. I can see why so many people use it. But it didn't win the West. 
It was created in the 1930s. It got a great name and it was great marketing, but the reason it still sells so well today is because Case just churns out every commemorative in the world on the Trapper frame when there are so many other knives out there. So I think that's part of the reason I have an issue with the Trapper. It takes away and it distracts from so many other fantastic traditional pattern knives out there that have an honest history to them, as opposed to the Trapper, which has a marketing ploy to it. That's how it got started. Matter of fact, um, for a while, uh, Case apparently had the rights to the word trapper because Camillus didn't even start calling their trappers a trapper until around 1951, sometime after World War II. And by that time, up until then, it was just called their big game knife because they couldn't call it a trapper. But now everyone can call their knives with a clip blade and a spade blade, a simple jackknife on this particular four and an eighth inch frame, a trapper. And then what Case also does is every other knife that they put on this frame, regardless of whatever the secondary blade is, they still call it a trapper. And that also drives me nuts because, you know, when you end up putting a fish scaling blade on this, is it really still a trapper? And what happens when you put a can opener over on the other side or a bottle opener on the other side? Why is it still a trapper? It's a jackknife that has a clip blade and a bottle opener. I don't know. That's, that's part of it. You know, it's just, there's just so much hype over a knife. And it's just one of many traditional pattern knives. And... It's like we're being sold a bill of goods by Case, who, are, who is basically telling us everyone needs to have a trapper. Well, I hate being told that I need to have a trapper. Now, if you want to give me a trapper, go ahead, send one to me. I would love it if you send me one. Make sure it has a, like a stag handle, though, because uh, uh, I don't buy that many of them. I bought this one because, hey, it was a commemorative of the uh, lunar landing, and... I thought that was worthy of having. But for the most part, I don't collect commemoratives and I don't collect promotional knives. And so if it's a knife that I'm not going to carry a lot, why should I buy them? And the knife I normally carry is the five inch toothpick. It has an actual history behind it and it's got a main blade that's a much bigger blade than the Trapper, and it's a lot lighter in the pocket. So I would much rather have a lighter knife that has that single blade that I'm going to use than a four and an eighth inch standard Trapper. So just to be clear, it's not a bad knife. The only bad knife is one that doesn't live up to its intended purpose. And the Trapper lives up to its intended purpose beyond compare. No knife is a better commemorative knife or promotional sales knife than the Trapper. When it comes to that, the Trapper knocks it out of the park. But that's not why I'm collecting knives. Thank you for visiting Knife Chats. I hope you enjoyed your time here. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel and ringing that notification bell so that you will be notified when the next episode of Knife Chats is up online. Thanks again. See you soon.